Okay, so let's put on our lens of truth and oh secret platforms time to step on them so we don't fall actually I kind of like walking on them when they're invisible like this hey look I can walk on air buddy aren't I cool yeah so you can see Link's shadow uh, from his feet so it's obvious that's kind of weird how that works though it's really interesting I wish I can walk on something like this I believe there are like buildings and towers like this where the floor is glass that would be really freaky I wouldn't really want to do it but it's interesting in a video game so I'll definitely do it in a video game Cause, you know do stuff you can't do in real life in games it's it's the way to roll my friends that's how you want to live your life if you don't want to swim swim in a game actually it's not nearly as fun I'd much rather want to experience the real stuff but whatever I don't know what kind of advice I'm trying to give here uh, let's just go ahead and whoa buddy huh so, that happened. I wasn't really thinking when when heading there. I believe that Stalfos is going to appear again, so I'm just going to completely ignore him. Uh, okay, now we have to fight him because we have to wait for that platform to start to come down. Alright, come on, buddy. I don't have my shield, so I have to wait for him to attack so I can try to attack him. Or he could do that. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I bet you thought there was some kind of invisible platform under him, but there wasn't. So you ended up dying, that fool. Alright, well, let's go ahead and fall down here. And, well, you see this Beemos? He needs to die now. Because he's actually, yeah, I was going to tell he was, he was covering one of these silver rupees. Which give us access to a new area, yeah! Also, I believe they give you, like, ten rupees if you pick him up. Um, though I'm not too sure. All I know is yellow rupees, I believe they started... Was it in Majora's Mask? I believe it was Wind Waker when yellow rupees became a thing, and that was like 10 rupees. But I don't know how much the silver rupee gives. All I know is it's not common, like, currency within Zelda. Like, you only find it when doing some kind of puzzle like that where you collect them all and it opens up a pathway to something. But... Go ahead and check out this sign. So only the one with the Eye of Truth will find the stone umbrella that protects against the rain of blades. You know what? Just shut up. I already figured that out with my Eye of Truth as well. And that's just by doing this. So this is your stone umbrella of sorts that is going to cover you from the rain of blades. They worded it interestingly, but I mean... Not really, actually. So just get it into the center here so it blocks both of these things falling on you. Make it easier to maneuver around here. I want to pick up this. So, yeah, there we go. Our second gold skeleton within the temple. There's a chest here. So let's go ahead and pick up this as well. Which gives us... Oh, yeah. I, I don't even want to say it anymore because just like, who cares? Actually, wait a second. Is there anything in here? No, just, just some pots. I thought I might be missing something. I don't know why, but you can never be too sure. Anyways, maybe I should take this off so I don't waste any more magic. Let's start pushing this back. Uh, I do like, though, how I can easily unequip my hover boots so I don't have to worry about slipping and sliding all over the place. For some reason, I just like the way Link looks with it. You know, those wings coming out of the boots itself. They look super snazzy. So I'm just not going to bother, honestly. I'm going to continue using it. All right, so there's nothing here yet. Those pots are indicating that they should be surrounding something special. Yes. So let's first off open up this and get ourselves a blue rupee. And then let's go ahead and step on this switch, which shall, if you couldn't tell by the map... Yeah, so it's going to chest that was going to appear in this room, one that we haven't yet gotten. And it's by stepping on that switch, which has a chest up here, and it gives you a small key, and now we can continue through the temple. Y yay! Sweet. Progress, guys. Progression's my middle name. Not really, but... You know what? That would be a good name, instead of... Whoa! That's, an, that's not a name, but what? And I'm put here... Why am I put into this room? Oh, I guess because we never actually entered or exited any other door. So it did that. That's so weird. I just, like, slid. It was, for a second, like, I was driving some sort of vehicle. Huh. All right. Well, that happened. 
Either way, it doesn't matter because I was going to head through here. So, you know, I came out of that room and got the small key. And now I'm coming here. All right. Now, we're going to need our lens of truth for this so we can see the invisible platform. And actually, I want to look at this weird frog rat thing. It's a really weird type of statue, but it's a thing. I thought I'd point it out. So, yeah. Let's keep going in this room. There are more silver rupees and redice that we can kill in literally one hit. So it doesn't really matter. They're not much of a threat. But we're going to need our uh, lens of truth within this room because if you couldn't tell, filled with invisible spikes. So that's a thing. All right. Well, Got to hit him one more time. That will give us a chest that will open in a second. Let's just keep collecting the remaining silver rupees in here. And then we can continue on. Now, you don't really have to collect them necessarily to progress throughout the temple. Actually, you do. What am I saying? Because we need a small key. So never mind. Don't listen to me. <laughs> For a second, I'm like, wait, no, I don't have a small key, so I can't really do that. But... Let's enter this room now and see exactly where this small key is. It's actually going to be located in here. But first of all, I need to pick up this gold scutula. So I believe that is our third so far. So far, so good, if you ask me. I think we're going to be locked in here unless we kill all of these keys. So let's start doing that as soon as we see one. So they don't fly all around the room. And then we have to, like, focus them with our bow and arrows. It's just easier to do it with your hookshot when you're near them. And you can easily target them. All right. Now I need to go ahead and throw a bomb in here. That will give us the small key. It will just fall down on the floor, which is kind of weird to see the small key, like, sparkling like that on the floor. I'm not used to that, but whatever. Let's just go ahead and try to snipe this guy. Okay, that's really bad. The hookshot takes way too long to shoot. Like, it's projectile. So, it's not really the best way to fight enemies. But hopefully he comes towards me. I see you. Alright, well, now you burnt me, and now you're dead. Now we can leave. So, yeah, stuff is happening. It's happening just, you know, surely but slowly. I'm going to go ahead. I believe you need your... Yeah, you do. You need your Lens of Truth to actually see that target. To hook onto it to continue on, which is interesting. But now let's go ahead and take out our Iron Boots. And put them on. Now, I put them on a little too early, but we need them for this upcoming section because you have, yes, these gust blower thingies. They're just going to shoot strong currents of wind at you. Now, they stop at certain points, so you can easily run past them and try to use your hover boots or whatever to get through. But you can honestly do all of this with your iron boots alone. So, I don't really see a point in trying to be, you know, all quick-like just a lot easier like this uh, and once you do that let's go ahead and enter this room where we shall find two re-deads also that okay let's just see what it says here I can hear a spirit whispering in this room those who have sacred feet should let the wind guide them the, then they will be led to a hidden path that's what they're saying shut up All right, let's go ahead and kill this guy I see you buddy ha That's it. That's all there was into this room? Really? Oh, wait a second. A secret chest! Which gives us arrows. <sighs> great. Not really what I wanted, but whatever. Let's go ahead and take out our hover boots now. And you can actually see where the secret place is. We went straight through it, yeah. It was, like, the, the wall was kind of clipped. It didn't look right. It didn't look natural to the rest of the walls. So, yeah, it was obvious. But let's go ahead and kill these Gibdos. Man, I love the Vigoron sword. Oh, look at that. Mid-air slice. Now he's dead. But, yeah, I love the Vigoron sword because you can do that. Um, and that shall give us one out of two chests within this room. See, the compass is really important to know exactly what's in here. So let's use our... Uh, Lens of Truth, yes, nothing. There's no secret or hidden chest currently. But if we take out our bombs and throw it on this pile of garbage, we can find a invisible chest. So 
That will give us a small key to progress. And that is how you do that, my friends. Now let's keep going. Yeah. <laughs> Anyways, this room is actually super interesting because we're going to go on a mini cruise, which is awesome. And this here, I'm opening up a major shortcut within the very first room where we found the two giant scythe statues rotating. Uh, that room has a secret passage that will take you all the way down here. So if you somehow end up back at the beginning of the temple and you want to make your way all the way to this room with the giant floating boat, you can easily head in that room. I would show it off, but it's it's a ways to climb, so I don't really see a point. It's not really going to be hard to find to begin with, so it doesn't really matter. But essentially what we're doing here is we're pushing this block that was blocking the path to you know have that as a major shortcut and making this... A platform to continue on within the temple itself so before you decide to jump on this boat and have your little cruise want to look over here Navi's gonna turn green and indicate that there is someone that we can call and that my friends is yes a scarecrow all right let's go ahead and target to our friend because there's a gold skull right behind him let me get that give it to me nice there we go that wasn't hard at all now we go ahead and yep, okay we're good i'm gonna make my way on the boat and get ready for a nice cruise is this a door no okay well i mean i guess you can head through here if you open it up Ah, oh, this would be nice to ride, to actually head inside too and see what's up. I mean, it's a scary looking boat because you got a head or like, you know, from waist up of some weird dead creature with, I think it's a little red riding hood because, you know, it has the same hood as her, uh, but it actually looks more like a scarf. I don't know what that is, but it's cool and we're going to get a better look at it once we play Zelda's Lullaby. Somehow Zelda's Lullaby is the key to this ignition. Of, of the boat it's not a car but still uh, that's how you get it working we're gonna get it working and we're gonna get a better look at it so the bells that start and yeah the bells are chiming the, the thing is wobbling we got to look at this really creepy guy and uh, yeah the scarecrow does not fit in this scenario whatsoever he looks too happy for whatever else is in this room but we are on a cruise of death and uh, we're just going to have it take us wherever it takes us also these guys are freaking annoying I'm gonna have gold skull uh, gold skull toes what Stalfo's jumping in on the ship left and right if you want to kill him these guys are so much easier with your Bigoron sword because you have so much range and stuff but yeah if you look around you can see weird spirits like moving in the mist which is awesome I love this idea it doesn't last for long and it isn't that scary because you know there's an end destination if you look on the map and overall you'll be able to jump off right now I, I wish it went faster I wish there were more enemies preventing you from coming off maybe if the you were surrounded by fire or something also yeah we can't jump off now but I'm gonna wait for it a second now let's just wait for it to stop Link the ship is singing abandoned ship get on a safe platform yeah It'd be funny if it instantly fell before Navi could even say that. That would be cool, but that's not the case. Now, I'm going to do something really, really freaking stupid. I'm going to stand on the edge of this platform, and if you couldn't tell, these two pots are indicating that there might be a walkway or something. Always when there are like two pots like that, just randomly centered somewhere, it's trying to indicate something. So this giant bird statue will create a platform to the other side here, and we're going to do that. But, I don't know what's going to happen if I stand exactly where I'm standing. Because the beak of this platform should right now fall on Link and crush him. So, oh no, okay, it moved him. God, I was really hoping like something stupid would happen. I'd like glitch the game. It just pushed me over. But yeah, <laughs> essentially we just made a bridge. Um, kind of looks like this one, but whatever. Uh, before we do continue, because we can't really, the door is locked back there, and there are a couple things we can collect here. Well, we're going to go ahead and investigate this area and see exactly what things we can collect here are and is and stuff. So, yeah, let's get to it. We got these guys. I'm just going to ignore them. I'm going to head inside this room, and remember how I said we're going to need 
the okay no that's not the room never mind i was gonna spoil it but, uh, god dang it i was hoping i'd be able to kill them all uh eh, whatever killed two with that spin attack I for some reason didn't trust myself doing an actual spin attack like the the quick one like this it's a lot harder to do it when recording because my 3ds which is also a capture card is a lot bulkier than a normal 3ds because it has a capture card device attached to it and it just makes it harder to grip so compared to my other 3ds which is a pink one um i can't really you know be as tactical i guess when playing it or be as good as in platforming but this room here is a little annoying it holds i believe the final gold skull within the temple so this should be our fifth one so far which is good but uh also holds i think nothing else actually is there anything else no hmm yeah there isn't anything else in here uh bombing these will end up giving you some rupees i'm pretty sure one of them will give you like a whole ring of rupees but that's it so if you want the rupees go for it you know try to shoot a bomb into the skull and get it but i don't need it because i have 500 rupees so i'm not gonna waste my time in that room uh this room though oh my god we're gonna get crushed guys holy crap what do i do look at these are spikes that will actually hurt you oh no I i'm gonna die I'm, I'm gonna die. I, I will, you'll actually get crushed if you let it crush you. So don't let that happen. Be a man and take out Din's fire at the last second and burn these two spiky wooden walls. And that's it. All right. Now let's go ahead and open up this chest and pick up the boss key. It's really all there was to it. You should get it like that. They try to make this room seem freaky, but it's not. And then here, let's kill this redead so I can open up this with ease and get myself a blue rupee. Whatever. Who cares? At least, you know, the... the, the uh, what am I trying to say? The chest icon is gone off of the map, so I feel relieved. There are no more chests to obtain. Now we can make our way to the boss room in peace without worrying about forgetting something within here. So, yeah, we are golden, my friends. Now to the boss... It is. I just realized I don't need this out, and I don't need this out. Let's replace it with arrows. Actually, let's put the arrows here because I actually need these arrows. They're gonna be really important for the boss. You're gonna see why. Oh, look at that. We just got more arrows. So that's perfect. <laughs> but um, yeah. So with this key, we can open up this area. But first off, I want to show this. If you play a song, the uh, song of time, song of time block will appear here. Then you can hop on this platform and play the Scarecrow song, and then you can hook onto the Scarecrow and pick up two hearts. I'm pretty sure that's all there is to it. Remember doing it thinking I solved some crazy awesome puzzle, and I'm like, all there is up there is two hearts. What's the point? Yeah, I am low on hearts. I could use them, but am I going to get them? No, because it's not really worth it. Yeah, all right. We are here. We're in the room of the boss. I want to... Okay, do I have these? There we go. I have them equipped can't really see Link's feet from that angle, but now we're going to start heading to the boss. So, it's time, my friends, to take on the boss of the Shadow Temple. Here we go. 